As Gary Chapman said, there were no healthy marriages without sincere apologies and genuine forgiveness. Forgiveness is the first step in processing hurts and restoring love. Yet, despite its importance, we often struggle with unforgiveness. Why is that? One reason is that forgiveness doesn't erase our memory. It is often said that if you forgive and don't forget, then you've not really forgiven. That's a lie. Forgiveness doesn't lead to amnesia. The pain and betrayal linger, haunting our thoughts. The scars remind us of the hurts we've endured, making it hard to let go. Forgiveness doesn't eliminate the consequences of wrongdoing. The actions that cause the pain still have repercussions. Trust might be shattered and the relationship dynamic forever changed. Forgiveness does not reveal trust. Trust is earned over time through consistent, trustworthy behavior. It requires effort and patience, a slow and delicate process that forgiveness alone cannot expedite. Forgiveness doesn't always lead to reconciliation. Sometimes the damage is too severe and the relationship cannot be salvaged. Forgiveness may provide personal peace, but it doesn't guarantee a mended bond. Knowing these truths about forgiveness empowers us to understand ourselves better when we struggle with it. Despite them, we must strive to forgive our loved ones, partners, spouses, and friends. Forgiveness is not about forgetting the pain, ignoring the consequences, or instantaneously rebuilding trust. It's about freeing ourselves from the heavy burden of resentment and opening the door to healing. By forgiving, we can start the journey toward reconciliation, however long it may take. So, let us choose forgiveness. Let us embrace the strength it requires and the peace it brings. Because in the end, it's love and forgiveness that make us whole. Forgive and seek to rebuild. For yourself and for those you cherish. Thank you for watching and please do share this video to bless your family and friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more enriching content on love, relationships and marriage. Until next time, my friends, remain blessed.